Welcome to the Brunswick High Coaches Show with head coach Victor Floyd. Brought to you by Coastal Appliances, Port City Paint and Body, The Emerald Princess, Bruce Kennedy Tire, Apple Care Immediate Care, Misty's Element Massage, Pristine Water and Pools, Files Insurance Agency, and by Marshside Grill. Now, here is your host, the voice of the Brunswick High Pirates, the Professor, Teddy Bishop. Welcome to the Brunswick High Coaches Show with head coach Victor Floyd on the Bishop Media Sports Network. I'm Teddy Bishop. We're on location at Marshside Grill, where we will be each and every week on Sunday nights at 7 o'clock for the entire season. This segment of the Victor Floyd Show is sponsored by Port City Paint and Body, the Emerald Princess, Coastal Appliances, Apple Care Immediate Care, Files Insurance Agency, Bruce Kennedy Tire, Pristine Water and Pools, Misty's Element Massage, and Marshside Grill. And now joining us, the head coach of the Brunswick High Pirates, Victor Floyd. Welcome, Coach. Hello. How you doing? We're doing great. Coach, uh, my first question would be about the new region. After two years in 6A, Brunswick High returns to 5A. And even though uh, Brunswick High has been playing the last two years and arguably or not even arguably the best region in the state, returning to region uh, to 5A, but this is still a tough region. What are your thoughts, first of all, about the past two years playing in 6A? Well, we've been in Region 1 the past two years, and I think it's been a great experience for our whole program. Uh, I think we're a better program now than we were when we originally went into 6A. And the thing about it, we're going from the toughest 6A region to the toughest 5A region in the state. Uh, if you look at the ratings that just came out, Region 1 is still the toughest region in 6A, and Region 3 is the toughest region in 5A. So we're looking forward to the competition. Thank you, Coach. I know uh, you, your staff, and your players have been working hard getting ready for the season opener Friday night against McIntosh County Academy. Is everyone ready? Well, I think we're getting there. We have to clean up some things uh, from the scrimmage and, and continue to prepare and take advantage of these next four days. But uh, I think we will be ready. Coach, let's talk a little bit about the scrimmage game. Uh, last Friday night, traveled over to Wayne County, uh, to Jessup to take on the Wayne County Yellow Jackets. And you and I were talking a little bit off the air about the scrimmage. And basically you said you were working on things that you didn't really – prepare for them as a team, just kind of working on some things to see what you needed to continue working on. Right. Early in the season like this, you work on yourself first, and you're not as concerned about the opponent you're playing in a scrimmage. So, you know, we had an opportunity to go against someone else besides ourselves, and, and now we can make corrections and move forward and actually get prepared for an opponent. And uh, you prepare differently when you're going to actually play a regular game as opposed to when you play a scrimmage. Coach, are there any major changes in the offensive scheme for this year as compared to last year? No. No, it's still the same. Still the same scheme. Let's talk a little bit about the quarterback position. How do you replace a Corey Dixon? Well, it's tough. Corey brought a certain amount of toughness to the guys, and he's been a leader for three years. And It's going to be hard to replace him, but I feel like we have a couple of adequate guys that – be able to handle it. You know, Randon Jernigan's going to start the season for sure, and, and it looks like he has a chance to be really good. This is Brunswick High Coaches Show with head coach Victor Floyd on the Bishop Media Sports Network. Coach Floyd, we were talking about Corey Dixon and, and how tough it is to replace uh, someone who was basically a three year starter for you, graduated, moved on to play in the college ranks. But in the scrimmage game the other night, I thought the Pirates looked pretty solid at quarterback. You mentioned Randon Jernigan. He is a freshman, but uh, I think he has the opportunity to be something special for Brunswick High. He does. He does. Randon's very mature beyond his years, and he's been able to absorb the system and understand what we're doing and what we're trying to do. And he's um, done a solid job so far. I, I think all this football is definitely ahead of him. But uh, he's, he, he really started out on a good foot. Other than that. Also in the, the scrimmage game, when 
when you went for the when you kicked the two extra points, a little cheer broke out up in the stands. I know that's been something that you and I have talked about the the kicking game. Is that going to be part of the scheme this year, kicking extra points and some field goals? Well, that's the plan. That's the plan. We had a young man to finally come out and go through everything the other kids went through, and he's done a real good job, Tyler Mitchell. So as long as he's with us, we, we definitely will. And I've said all along, if we had one, we'd use him. So we have one, so we'll use him. Great, Coach. I know that's what you had said every year. If you had a kicker, you'd use him, and perhaps this year you've got someone who will fill that bill for you. How about the uh, special teams overall? I know didn't return kickoffs or punts or anything, but... We did. We returned punts. Punts, yes, sir. Yeah, um, we didn't do kickoffs. Kickoffs. Were you pretty well satisfied with the special teams overall? Not bad first time out. We still have some kinks to work out. Um, I thought Seth did a solid job punting uh, first night out because that's the spot that Corey left vacant also. He's been our punter for three years. So uh, Seth Newbauer did a solid job punting. And uh, in the return game, Kenneth Dallas shows a lot of promise. He's a little fearless fella, and he's going to try to catch every punt. That's just his makeup and his mentality. So I think that alone will improve our return game. More to come on the Victor Floyd Coaches Show on the Bishop Media Sports Network. Right now, these words from our sponsors. Coastal Appliances is your one-stop shop for Whirlpool washers and dryers, Whirlpool refrigerators, and so much more. Coastal Appliances offers free delivery and service after installation and have also been in business for over 30 years. 4727 Altama, next to Sonic, and on the web at appliancesbrunswickga.com or give them a call at 912-267-0132. Coastal Appliances, Glenn County's only specialty appliance store. When you are in need of a reputable body shop, Port City Paint and Body in Brunswick is your answer. Located at 2509 Norwich Street, just down from Twin Oaks, Port City Paint and Body understands your needs and cares about your car and you. Port City Paint and Body works with any insurance company. Give them a call for a free estimate at 912-265-9524 or on the web at portcitybodyshop.com. Port City Paint and Body, home of the lifetime guarantee, and go Pirates! Hop aboard for Texas Hold'em tournaments, roulette, poker, lots of slot action, food, music, and more. Labor Day weekend, Sunday, August 31st, 7 p.m. Cruises depart from Brunswick, Georgia. Call 800-842-0115 or visit EmeraldPrincessCasino.com. Must be 18 years of age and present a government-issued photo ID to board. Get affordable health care when you need it. At Apple Care Immediate Care, our team of compassionate health care providers is dedicated to treating each patient with the highest standard in health care. Located at 1111 Glencoe Parkway, Apple Care is open Monday through Friday, 7.30 a.m. to 7.30 p.m., Saturday, 8.30 a.m. to 5 p.m., and Sunday, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Apple Care welcomes all walk ins from pediatric to adult ages and accepts most insurance plans. Visit us at AppleCareDoctors.com and like us on Facebook. Welcome back to the Brunswick High Coaches Show with head coach Victor Floyd on the Bishop Media Sports Network. I'm Teddy Bishop on location from Marside Grill. This segment is brought to you by Coastal Appliances, Port City Paint and Body, the Emerald Princess, and by Apple Care Immediate Care. Coach, we're talking a little bit more about Randon Jernigan and the fact that he will be starting as a freshman, has the opportunity to really be a special player at Brunswick High, but as you said, he is a freshman. You've got to keep that in perspective. Oh, yeah, and he'll do a really good job, and he'll have some growing pains, but the good part is we're senior-oriented on the offensive line, which is a plus because those same group of guys have been battling in Region 1 for two years. So that group, is they have a lot of starts under their belt, and I feel a lot better starting an a, a inexperienced quarterback behind that group. So hopefully that can help ease the pain there. 
Who will be the backup for Jarnigan, Coach? A.J. Jackson, and A.J.'s kid has been in the program for three years, and uh, he's been working at quarterback position ever since he walked in the door, so he knows it inside out. But he, he's also our leading receiver. But uh, he'll be the number two guy. Speaking of, um, of Jackson, I thought he did a pretty good job catching the ball last Friday night against Wayne County. Uh, had some big catches and uh, looks to be – perhaps one of the top receivers coming in for Jernigan. Uh, yes. Uh, A.J. led Region 1 in receptions and yards last year, and uh, we expect the same type of year out of him. Uh, he, he's a quality young man uh, with a ton of ability, and uh, he'll be big for us on the offensive side of the ball as well as special teams. Coach, you talked about the, the seniors in the offensive line and, and what a big plus that is to have that experience with a freshman quarterback. Are there any seniors in particular? I know it's good to have seniors. Are there one or two or three or four seniors in particular that you're really looking for for that leadership? Well, I tell you, this is a really good group of seniors in general. But uh, there, there are a couple of guys on both sides of the ball that we're expecting to step to the forefront. Uh, we got a couple of seniors on the offensive line. But uh, Jackson Gibbs and William Brinkley are the two that really need to step up to the plate uh, as seniors and, and be leaders, and I think they will. Um, on the defensive line, you know, we need for Chris Coward, Keenan Wilson, Allen Richardson. All those guys are returning guys on the defensive line. Uh, Devonis Johnson's a big-time leader for us at linebacker, and then you have the back end. You have Carlos Pickett, who's a Marshall commit, and. Uh, Anthony Wilson and that group of guys we really need them to play up to their capability uh, and, and be leaders. Coach, um, as you get ready for the season opener against McIntosh Academy uh, this Friday night, we talked a little bit about it and your second game of the season is against Glen Academy. I wouldn't think there would be a letdown for your opening season, for your opening game, but with your second game against a traditional rivalry, is that something you're concerned about? No, I'm not. Uh, the first game against McIntosh, you know, the past couple of years, the kids have just heard, oh, they beat you in the scrimmage, they beat you in the scrimmage. So we actually get an opportunity to play them in a the game, and I think they're looking forward to it because, you know, people don't understand there's no preparation for us for a scrimmage. We just go play. But I think they're looking forward to the opportunity to play them because it's close proximity. I think some of our kids have relatives on the team. And, right. you know, that's a, a rivalry within itself. So I, I think the guys will be excited to kick the season off against them. I don't think we have any type of – we won't overlook them looking at Glenn. I think we'll be prepared and ready to play. Coach, some of the people that watched the McIntosh Glenn scrimmage last week uh, – commented that McIntosh seemed maybe a little bit on the small side, um, but maybe they have some good speed. But, but as you said, this is something that your team is really looking forward to, to, to get the first game under their belt and then start looking for Glen Academy. Right. Well, you know, the good part about high school football size doesn't matter. Um, first two years we played with 170-pound tackles, and, you know, we're still able to win the region. So... The size is not a factor. Uh, I think that um, a scrimmage is what it is, and everybody goes back to the drawing board and makes corrections, and I really think their guys have come out ready to play us this week. You're listening to the Victor Floyd Coaches Show on the Bishop Media Sports Network. Coach, who do you see as the top teams in the region for this year? It's a tough region and a lot of good teams. Well, I mean, I would hate to try to split it, but, but I think, you know, there are probably five or six schools that could win the region, honestly. Uh, you look at Coffee, similar to us, they dropped down from Region 1. And you have Ware, who's won the region the past couple of years. And you have Richmond Hill, who's won 10 games last year. And you have, you know, Glenn. And you have Statesboro, who's a perennial power year in and year out. Right. Um, then you have Effingham and, and Bradwell, who are, Effingham has been solid, been a playoff team. 
Bradwell has a new coach and they're rebuilding, but they always have talent. Um, who am I missing? I'm missing somebody. South Effingham. South Effingham. South Effingham has a talented quarterback, and then they're going to pose big time problems. So it's going to be a battle for all the playoff spots. Coach, looking again at the roster and talking about some of the underclassmen, um, your freshman quarterback, Randon Jernigan, are there any other uh, freshmen or sophomores that you're really counting on to make a big contribution this year? Well, Deontay Demery is probably one of the top offensive linemen in the class 2017, and uh, we're looking forward to getting him back in the next two to three weeks. He had a little meniscus surgery. Uh, back at the end, uh, let me see when they have it, end of July maybe? No, probably around mid-July, so he should be back in about two weeks. But uh, he's a guy that's made leaps and bounds since last year and really progressed and gotten better, and he's starting to turn into that player we thought he could be. Um, he's definitely, definitely a big-time player. Uh, Reggie Jackson on defensive line started the last game last year for us as a freshman, and uh, he's a big athletic kid on the D-line who we're expecting a big year out of. Um, we started two other freshmen Friday night. Sherrod Frazier started at linebacker, and Jalen Jackson started at corner. And and both are, you know, really good athletes and have beat out some upperclassmen to be in the positions they're in, and we're expecting big things out of all of them. So it's uh, we have a good group of uh, freshmen and sophomores, and, and some of those kids will contribute a bunch this year where normally they wouldn't. They don't have a lot of starters in the junior class, so therefore the sophomore and the freshman class will, will kind of dominate next year's team. So we're expecting those guys to get a lot of reps. We will be right back to Brunswick Kai Coaches Show with head coach Victor Floyd on the Bishop Media Sports Network. Bruce Kennedy Tire is your hometown destination for tires. Michelin, Goodyear, and all the brands you trust. But don't let the name fool you. Bruce Kennedy Tire, located at 2928 Norwich Street, does more than just tires. Brakes, alignments, repair work, and more than I can mention. Bruce Kennedy is locally owned and operated so you get the best service in Glen County. So give Bruce a call at 912-264-6578. Bruce Kennedy Tire, a name you can trust. Files Insurance Agency, located at 5623 Altama Avenue, a quarter mile north of the Target Shopping Center, offers a wide range of products to protect you and your family from the unknown. Auto insurance, life, health, flood, commercial, bonds, including shrimp bonds, and so much more. Give Files Insurance Agency a call at 912-264-0100 or visit them online at filesinsurance.com. Pristine Water is your destination for pools, spas, and pool supplies. From installation to maintenance, Pristine Water is your best choice in all of Southeast Georgia for your next pool or spa. Give Pristine Water a call at 912-264-9233 for a free estimate or stop on in at 166 Key Circle Drive or check Pristine Water out online at pristinewaterandpools.com and go Pirates! Marchside Grill is your home for the best burgers, spuds, and seafood around. Come enjoy the view out by the water while taking in an ice cold beverage. Marchside Grill is also your home for the Brunswick High Pirates Coaches Show with head coach Victor Floyd and a proud sponsor of Brunswick High and local high school athletics. So stop in any day or night of the week for the best view and atmosphere in the Golden Isles. And also, check us out on Facebook. Go Pirates! Welcome back to the Brunswick High Pirate Coaches Show with Head Coach Victor Floyd on the Bishop Media Sports Network. I'm Teddy Bishop on location at Marshside Grill. This segment is brought to you by Bruce Kennedy Tire. Files Insurance Agency, Pristine Water and Pools, and by Misty's Element Massage. Coach, before we went to break, you were talking about some of the underclassmen on the 
roster. Didn't really get a chance to finish that thought. So uh, what about some of the other guys that you wanted to, to kind of mention expecting good things from them? Well, Sean Smith is, is a young man that will play a huge role in what we do offensively this year. Uh, he'll be a, a wide receiver, and he'll help in the return game. But he's an extremely explosive athlete. Um, he, he makes you com compare him to some of the best that's been around here. And uh, he has that type of upside and potential. So we, we're definitely looking forward to him having a big season for us. Coach, uh, speaking of Sean Smith, I saw him play at the middle school level, and he might be the best middle school player I had seen in years and years. And as you said, he, he has the type of explosiveness to, to really make big contributions to the Pirate program. Yes, he, he, um, he's been competing in track ever since he was a, a, a toddler. And uh, two years ago, he was number two in the nation in 200 meters. And uh, that's the type of speed that he displays on the field. And, and that's huge. That's huge. Coach, uh, also, uh, you have Donovan Slay. Of course, that's uh, Darius's brother. And he's looking pretty good um, on the defensive side of the ball. Right. Donovan started last year for us at corner. Um, he's, a, he's an undersized kid with a ton of ability. Um, he's only about 5'6". He's probably got a 38, 40-inch vertical and um, really quick and is able to compensate for his size with his skill level. So we're definitely looking for Donovan to have a big year this year. It's kind of ironic when I went to the region meeting last year for all region, I was one of the first guys that somebody brought up. And I was like, no, he, he probably hadn't quite had quite that year, but he's shown flashes of that type of ability. And you, you mentioned again that even though he's not real tall, some of the teams that you played against last year put big tall receivers on him, but he certainly held his own. He did. I mean, Coffee specifically put their best guy out there, and he was about 6'3", and they probably went at him five times and they didn't complete any. I think he might have had one interference call in there, but they, they still didn't explore him like they tried to do, so he definitely held his own. Coach, after you opened the season against McIntosh, then you return home to Glen County Stadium, even though you're the visiting team this year to take on Glen Academy. Traditional rivalry, Glen Academy has a new coach, um, uh, kind of trying to re resurrect that program over there. Are there any thoughts, even though it's still almost two weeks away or over a week away, about playing the traditional rivalry at Glen County Stadium? Well, we try trying not to think about it at all. Uh, we have to take them one at a time and try to put all our focus on Macintosh. Uh, when it when it gets time for that one, the guys will be ready to play. They'll be excited about it. Coach, many years ago, Brunswick High and Glen Academy used to play twice a year, first game and last game. Would you be in favor of that format returning? No, not at all. Would not because it takes away all your – to play at the last game of the season takes away all your energy going into the playoffs because you're going to put more energy into that game than you do the first round of playoffs, and it kind of sets you up to get knocked off in the first round. In the first round. So I would, I would not be in favor of that. Okay. This is the Brunswick High Coaches Show with Victor Floyd on the Bishop Media Sports Network. Coach, after the Glen Academy game, you have an open week, and then you uh, – take on a very tough opponent, one that you've played the last couple of years, Camden County, always a perennial power in 6A, and keeping them on the schedule as a non-region game now, uh, got to make you a better football team. Well, it does. Uh, just playing great competition makes you better in, in general. And uh, the guys are looking forward to that game. That was a close game last year that we, we were in right into the end. So I'm sure they'll be excited about that one too. After Camden, uh, you're still at home. You take on Effingham County. Um, haven't played them in a couple of years or so. Uh, any thoughts or do you know anything about them this early? Uh, not much about them. I know they were a playoff team last year, had, had a, you know another quality season, and uh, they've been in the playoffs the past couple of years. So I know they, they'll put a, a good product on the field. And then you travel to Statesboro to take on the Statesboro Blue Devils. Perennial power in their region, year in and year out. 
uh, looking like another tough region game. Right, I and mean, it's always you know tough to play in Statesboro, so that that definitely would be a tough game, and it'd be a big game. Every game in this region is going to be huge because I really think everybody will beat up on each other. Then after South Effingham, an open date, then travel to Douglas to take on Coffee County. You and I talked a little bit while we were on commercial about Coffee County. And again, Coffee County is a perennial power, and that's going to be another tough game. Yeah, um, they've preseason top five in the state in 5A, so, uh, you know, they return a large number of guys and have a couple of Division One commits, and, and it's in Douglas. But fortunately, we get an open week uh, for that game, so it definitely will be a big game. After coffee, back home against Richmond Hill, and then back on the road to Hinesville to take on Bradwell Institute. And talking about the out-of-town games, the, the travel schedule is a little bit easier this year than the last two years. Oh, yeah, a lot easier, a lot easier. Um, I think we go to coffee, which is about an hour and a half, and Statesboro's close to the same, and those are the two longest trips. You know, everything else is very much within reason. Yes, sir. And then, of course, last year had to go to Tift and... Um, just Colquitt. Colquitt, <laughs> yes, sir. Um, and then you return to Glenn County Stadium to take on the Ware County Gators in the regular season finale. Again, yeah. Ware County's always a tough team and a, a perennial power. Yes, they've had uh, a couple of good years back to back and done really well. Now they have a new coach, new attitude. I'm sure they'll be tough, and that game hopefully will mean a whole lot. That could come into maybe perhaps the the region championship on the line as Ware County comes over to Brunswick, Glen County Stadium to take on the Pirates. That would be nice. <laughs> Thanks for joining us for the Brunswick High Coaches Show with Victor Floyd on the Bishop Media Sports Network. We invite you to come out to Marshside Grill and join us every Sunday night at 7 p.m. from 7 to 7.30 for the Victor Floyd Show. I'm Teddy Bishop, and we are signing off for tonight. Coach Floyd, we appreciate it very much. All right. Thank you for having me.